there's dozens and dozens of different creatures in Minecraft, and there's also spawner blocks for some of them. For seven different types of creatures, or eight if you count the pig, uh, in vanilla survival Minecraft, you can get a spawner block. But if you're playing on a custom map or on a modded world, you might have access to a lot of other kinds of spawner blocks. Specifically, in this video, I'm gonna show a simple farm design for a piglin brute spawner. There is one problem that a piglin brute farm needs to solve that most other spawner farms don't, and that's buildup. So to remind you how mob spawners work, every 10 seconds to 40 seconds or so, they'll try to pop uh, four mobs into existence in kind of this uh, shape of space. So four blocks out to the sides and one block up or down. But then most spawners have some kind of limiting behavior. So if there's six of that type of creature or more within four blocks in all directions of it, the idea is the same for bedrock addition, but the size is a little different. Uh, if there's six or more of those creatures, the spawner will just shut down. It won't make anything more. So this raises a problem for a piglin brute spawner in the overworld. After 15 seconds, a piglin brute will turn into a zombified piglin and won't count towards that six mob limit anymore. I tried to visualize this here, so time is moving in that direction. The spawner summons, say, four piglin brutes, and best case scenario, another 10 seconds later, another four piglin brutes will be spawned by that same spawner. But then five seconds later, those first four will turn into zombified piglins, and by the time the next spawn cycle occurs right here, there's still only four piglin brutes around, less than six. So the way I solved this buildup problem is with app finding actually. Uh, we put a big chunk of solid blocks around here, uh, plus a few kind of on these uh, edges to lure the piglin brutes from the inside over to this corner. And then we got a trapdoor there, little one by one pit and some carpets. It may take them a couple seconds, but the plus side is that this means that no matter how long you leave this thing running, the piglins will all fall into this hole and at worst you'll get a buildup of 24 mobs. So this big column of bait blocks and the kind of pathfinding trap there is just a safety mechanism to keep you from getting some like 200 mob buildup lag spike. So the next thing that makes the piglin brute spawner interesting is that you'd like to have a way to actually kill the creatures as brutes or as zombified piglins. The piglin brutes drop more XP and have more health, and the zombified piglins drop less XP, are easier to kill, but also drop gold and rotten flesh. So this one I tried to design with three modes. The first one is just full AFK. You just stand near it somewhere. You don't even need aggression. They just wander into this pit and to decram themselves to death. And then the golden flesh uh, drops down here. The second AFK mode you could use on this farm is just setting some kind of auto clicker to take out the zombified piglins. Doing this you'd still get the golden nuggets and the rotten flesh, but you'd also get experience and an occasional uh, gold bar as well. And then the third mode on this farm is to kill the piglin brutes as brutes, and so the only way I could figure out how to do that uh, was with entity cramming. So first we're going to go ahead and clear out all these. I have mud blocks here because they're a little bit shorter than normal blocks and uh, hoppers can actually pick up items through them. Then once all the zombified pilgrims are out, you place 24 uh, minecarts down here. I tried to also design this so that if you misclick and enter one of the carts, uh, <laughs> I was going to say you survive, but <laughs> that worked the first three times I tried it. <laughs> I don't I don't know where the farm is anymore. <laughs> the idea is supposed to be that you can uh, get in here, kind of get kicked out of the minecarts, and then still be safe right here. If you get out quick and have armor on, I'm sure you'll be fine. Even if you do get killed in here, all your items will be picked up by these hoppers. Then once you got all the minecarts in, then... Oh, jeez. You gotta open up this trap door again. There we go. So now, when the piglin brutes run in, uh, the entity cramming from the minecarts will actually kill them before that 15 second window and so they'll die as piglin brutes. If you wanted to use this as an AFK farm, you would just set up some auto clicker to click away. And even if it's entity cramming that kills them, from what I can tell, as long as you've hit them at least once, yeah, you'll get XP from them even when they're killed by the entity cramming. It was actually a lot of trouble to design this in a way that their XP could still get to you they can't hurt you from where they are and where you are, and they can still all see you so that it's pathfinding uh, aggression that brings them out of the main area. 
There's a slab to push the player down here, so you can kind of see through the two carpets. I was proud of this too, so if you just break all the uh, minecarts here, like if you want to change it back to zombified piglin mode, uh, all the minecarts make it safely into this chest here. Or barrel, not a chest. These chests here aren't used for anything, they're just kind of like safety buffers, because if you stand in this corner, uh, the zombified piglins and piglin brutes can hit you. Using the minecarts was my last resort because, well, just having an extra 24 entities in a farm is kind of annoying. But piglin brutes actually have uh, 50 health points, which is a lot for a mob, and the result is that it's really difficult to kill a piglin brute in that 15 second window. Uh, so as a visualization here, the gold bars represent how much health a piglin brute has, uh, the pink represents how many health points a zombified piglin has, and then the magma and smooth stone represent how much damage you can do to a mob with magma and with suffocation in a 15 second window. And I'm not sure if you actually both suffocated and magma burnt a mob. I don't know if it would get double damage or if something with the invincibility window would make it just get uh, the same amount. And then lastly, the coal blocks here represent how much damage you can do to an entity with entity cramming in 15 seconds. We do need a bit of a like buffer here because the mobs aren't going to be experiencing entity cramming for their whole 15 second lifetime. It's going to take them a couple seconds to you know, run over into the corner. The last thing I did try was fall damage, which for a brute is like a 50 something block fall. Even if you use pointed dripstone, it's still a 20 something block fall. That would introduce a whole nother complication, which is now the items and XP are gonna be appearing down there, but the player needs to be up close to the mob spawner for it to be working. And using the pathfinding to get the uh, piglin brutes out was suggested by the person who asked for this farm design. So low tech AFK piglin brute spawner farm. That's all I got. My name's Chris. Thanks for watching.